Hey guys, I'm back at the bench and today I'm going to show you my neck turning setup. Um, so this is going to be video 3 and um, of the uh, new case prep for the um, 6.5 by 47. Um, I've got one here just to sort of show you. Let's see if I can get you a close up of this. Did that come up on the camera? Yeah. Okay. So that's just been neck turned. So I can just rest all the high spots. There's a couple as you can just probably see there barely. Um, little kiss into the shoulder. So I'm going to set the uh, camera up now and show you uh, the, the setup. And uh, I'll be using a little hand size driver like this and uh, this is the new <coughs> KM power grip that goes onto the uh, power adapter and gives you a much better force for uh, locking down onto the uh, onto the case okay so let me get it set up and you can just see it in operation so bear with me okay so I'm just going to put a little bit of wax or lube on onto the pilot. Okay. And offer the case up. Okay, see that's nice and smooth. Let me just set up another one. Okay, so here we go with the second one. Smooth. So I'm, I'm zooming now on, on the next one, and so uh, you can get a kind of better look.
okay so all I'm doing there is just literally knocking off those high spots you can see it's just got a tiny little bit there left there little kiss into the shoulder okay see that little little bit of brown just left there so that's obviously not taken off there um, these are coming out at 12 and a half thou um, and I'll show you that in a second let me just do another one okay so we're going to do this next one now about half a thou coming off of these um, this is just a light pass over um, I mean if you want to take it down so that they're all 12 thou or 11 thou um, but most of these brand new cases they only range from 13 thou to 12 and a half thou um, so it's just uniforming that case neck um, and that's all I'm doing I, I don't really need to I haven't got a a match chamber uh, so I don't really need to cut them to 11 thou or, uh, or or anything less than that <coughs> so this is just what it needs to take off to get them uniform on the neck okay and you can feel it you know it will start to bite and like I said, by all means, you know, if you want to take it down to 12 thou or 11 thou, um, I don't particularly want my necks any thinner. Um, I only want them uniform. Okay, let me see if I can get you a close up on that. Okay, I mean, it's, it's this a great little job, this, um, this little handheld drill, um, especially now with the um, the new k &M power grip, um, it's certainly easier on your fingers uh, as it was before, this was a, a bit of a, well it was quite sharp actually, so you ended up sort of using a wrench to um, to actually do it, um, but um, no, it's working out very well actually. Okay, so I'm just going to show this last one. So I offer it up to the pilot, um, obviously because we've already expanded these necks, so it fits this pilot, and um, you just simply offer it up, and it guides itself on there as well. You can see it's just nice and straight. And that's it. Quite straightforward, easy to do. Try to get close for this. Come on, let me focus in. Okay. Right. Let me just pause you there one second. Okay. So 
twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half. Twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half. Where are you? Twelve and a half. Okay, so that is pretty consistent. Um, like I said, if you want to go the full thou off, um, again, twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half. Looks like there's a 12 there. Oh no. 12 and a half. Twelve and a half. Okay, so I mean that is for me that is consistent enough. Um let me just pause you around a second. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a, a quick shot of the uh, setup there. Um, here I've got a little um, portable bench vise. Um, this idea came to me by a friend of mine. Um, his setup is um, similar to this. Um, so, sorry Cy, si, I've copied you. <laughs> um, but this seems to work great. Um, you can hold this in your hand, the actual cutter. Uh, in a previous video, I've actually got the uh, economic ego grip. Well, I think I've got it's what's actually called now, but it's a it's like a handle that you can actually put the um, the cutter inside it if you do want to hold it by hand. But as you can see, this setup is just a lot easier. Um, you've only got to control this part um, to sort of literally guide your case onto the uh, pilot and away you go. This has been absolutely fantastic to have the uh, K&M power, power Grip um, really makes a difference you can just literally just twist that and your case will come out do that, turn it and that's all you need. Fantastic! Um, These, I think, on the uh, on the website, on the KM website, they're at eighteen dollars. Um, I think soon they will be uh, starting to ship over uh, to this country in the UK. But uh, I've managed to order one from the uh, from the states, so that was great. Um, like I said, definitely a great addition. And I should be using that all the time now with this setup. But um, well, there you have it, guys. That is my um, setup for neck turning. Quite easy. Takes a lot of the strain out of it. Um, you know, if you don't want to, like I say, uh, hold them in your hand. So <clears throat> get yourself something to measure the actual um, neck thickness um, if you don't want an electronic one like this uh, just get a normal uh, manual gauge neck thickness gauge uh, but something you just want to know exactly how much you're taking off um, I know that I've got that set to 12 and a half thou anyway because I've got a pair of feeler gauges I'll just put them in there and uh, that told me exactly what that was and that's pretty much it really um, with this kind of setup I can get through that hundred there no problem at all so literally you just put a little bit of lube on the on the pilot don't run it dry uh, because you're going to start galling your uh, your cases if you do um, but that is pretty much it so that is neck turning not too complicated I mean, in the precision world, you know, 
we're all doing that. Um, some people don't want to do it, that is absolutely fine. But we're trying to get every last bit of precision out of some of these rounds and having equal neck tension on that is in my book probably a good way to go. But everyone's got their own way and no one's saying that you should neck turn or anything so this is only for people that are interested in neck turning. Um, as, I can, as you can see here it's quite easy to kind of like set up. Um, you know, if you've got like a little hobby lathe or lathe or something like that, yeah, you can put them through that if you want. But that to me now is perfect, just for what I need. Okay. Okay. So now that um, the cases have been neck turned, the next step, um, just with the necks, will be to close the diameter of the neck now to our bushing size, I use a bushing size if you use a neck sizing die um, but I shall be running these into my die and um, and they will give me the diameter that I'll be setting these at uh, with my bushing. Um, I'll link that onto the next video so the next video will be primer pocket uniforming and then after that we'll go and do the, the flash hole or I might just link those two together, I'm not sure. Um, but either case, there will be one or two videos there. So that will be the next step. I'm just going to crack on with these, finish these off and um, see you on the next one. Bye.